the Joe Rogan experience. He doesn't look happy. Wow. He's and that, living that, in 1901. He's like, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, average life expectancy. He's 40 years old. Average life expectancy, like 44, 45. Really? At that time. I mean, but if you make it past childbirth, of course, you, you have a better, much better chance of, of surviving. But, but anyway, he, yeah, he does name his company after his wife. What's interesting is you wonder whether that was like, whether she'd be happy about that, right? It becomes this hated name in so many ways years later. But he's scrapping by. He actually had tried to start a chemical industry in the late 19th century. It had burned down. And he didn't have any money. He's got these kids. He's got this family. So, like, to your point, I'm kind of, when I'm reading this, I'm trying to understand how is this company starting? What's the human story here? How do we get into this mess? You know? <sighs> money. But, and then, you know, we do, when you get, as you said, to the 50s and 60s, these agricultural chemicals become a huge part of their business. But kind of back to Roundup, 70, okay? 245T, now, now the lid's off. You know, the, the government's starting to find out about it. People are raising alarms. Scientists are talking about how toxic this stuff is. And, you know, they're looking for an alternative, something that's not as toxic as this stuff. And that's when John Franz finds uh, glyphosate. Interestingly, mm. you know all, like the detergent all? Yes. That was a Monsanto product. Of course it was. <laughs> but it had, it had a phosphate-based ingredient in it that helped it clean clothes. But in the 60s, phosphate-based detergents were ending up in waterways and contributing to like fish algae death. blooms and fish death. Yeah. And so they had to get rid of that phosphate detergent and they had all this phosphate. And they're like, what do we do with all this phosphate? <sighs> Boom, all detergent, you know, and all that phosphate ends up becoming the, the building blocks of Roundup. Roundup is ultimately coming from elemental phosphorus. Wow. It's crazy. And but it was all designed to be healthy. I know a guy who lived in a community that was uh connected to a golf course and he grew up drinking water from a well. And him and a, a, a large number of people in the community got cancer. Mm. And they firmly believed that it was because of whatever pesticides that yeah. they were using or herbicides that they were using on the golf course that it leaked into the wells. Can I show you what Roundup looks like nowadays? Sure. Yeah. Uh, Jamie, there's a there's a, a map in there that's like a map of the country, and it's kind of brown, and it shows you kind of Roundup. Um, it's probably most of the country, right? it's, It says glyphosate because that's the active ingredient. But I just want to show you the change that's happened over the last several years with glyphosate. So, like, oh. that's glyphosate. This comes from the USGS Pesticide National Synthesis Program. Um, this is what happened with roundup ready technology like we were this is 92 so remember i said roundup is created in the 70s but it's not really used that much you know throughout the growing season it's interesting how it's used so much in california yeah it's, it's like the primary valley. application of it that look that's at that the that's weird cool. farmland on the way up to san francisco if you're driving from la and you see you know like fuck joe biden signs that's where they are <laughs> exactly <laughs> yep that's also you know the land of like like 90% of our almonds, mm -hmm. like nine, yeah. you know, yeah. all of the salad, everything comes from there. Yeah. And so much pesticide use in that valley. Wow. But look at the Midwest. I mean, it goes from like, you know, almost none, almost none. very little to swarms. To swarms. By and, 2017. And that's because you've made crops that are now resistant to glyphosate. So you can uh. spray it all, you know, as much as you need to kill your weeds. But, um, and Jamie, there's a, that, you had that weed resistance graph going up, but a, a fifth grader can tell you, well, <laughs> wow. when you spray that much Roundup on something or glyphosate on something, you're going to start seeing resistance. Adaptation. Exactly. You like know. it's nature fighting back. Like what's happening with um, antibiotics where you're seeing these like MRSA, like these medication resistant staph infections that are insanely difficult to treat. Just like it. Yeah. Just like it. You know, in fact, some of the weed scientists I talked to, I'll be honest, the when I first was going to a talk at Ohio State that they said the weed scientists are talking, I thought, oh. I thought it was, I thought it was weed, marijuana. <laughs> I showed up. I was like, oh, this is cool too, you know? <laughs> yeah, I want to find out how to make the shit stronger. <laughs> <laughs> so, but these weed scientists at Ohio State who are great and helped out with the book, um, fantastic folks. You know, some of those, drivers, you know, they're like glyphosate was like penicillin, man. It was it was so powerful. It was so effective at killing weeds that like and we burned through it mm. because these weeds became resistant to it. 
Mm. And so, and that's where we're at now, kind of going back to your point about um, chemicals and exposures. Like Roundup was introduced because it was seen as an environmentally more friendly herbicide at the time in the 70s. Then Agent Orange. <laughs> then, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're comparing yeah. it against some pretty bad... Uh... It's like, would you like to get punched or I'll shoot you? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it had to do with, you know, the way it worked and, and the mechanisms there. But what's happening now because of that resistance, and Jamie, I hate to bring it up again because it's actually kind of cool. You get to see this. This first time I've, we put it together. But when that weed resistance takes off, I think it's the next graph after that, What what happens is... Check this out. Okay, this is this is what's happening. I put this together with a friend of mine who's a data scientist. Let's try to uh, remember that a lot of people are just listening. They're just listening. Probably a huge percentage. It's fair enough. So I'll try and describe it. Okay. So what we're looking at is pounds of herbicide per acre of soybeans. So this is just looking at soybeans as a case study. And we're looking at the amount of herbicides that's being used on farms per acre in the U.S. in specific states just because they had data for this, to, for us to compare. And what we're seeing is this like explosion in Roundup, glyphosate, that big dark line going up like that. And notice, look, we, we started seeing the decline in all these other herbicides that are really toxic stuff, like chlorinated compounds and things like that. They're going down and down and down, but check out weed resistance. 2004, 2005, mm. 2006, boom, all those herbicides that were really toxic, including, by the way, the other half of Agent Orange, 2,4-D, is now being used to try and beat back Roundup-resistant weeds. Wow. And so, what last- a fucking mess. It's crazy. Watch the entire episode for free only on Spotify.